Hey guys, how are you? Happy New Year, or as they say on one of my favorite movies, Merry New Year. It is 2019, and what I wanted to do, I've been thinking about this for the last couple of days, and I'm going to try to look at both because I'm actually recording this also for IGTV, which is going to kind of be a new project of mine in the new year. And I'm going to try to keep these shorter. That is one of the things that I am pledging to you. Hey, Darcy, how are you? Happy New Year. So one of the things that I am trying to do this year, and you may have seen that I changed my cover, is I want 2019 to be about service, which means that I want to bring some value to you guys. Um, it's not going to be any specific area. It's going to be health, because I've learned a lot about that over the last couple of years. And I have learned uh, a lot about mindset, especially in the last 12 months. Hopefully some about success and just being generally a lot happier. So those are kind of the four main areas that I will cover. Not all in one, but in particular, just those are kind of the topics that I plan on covering. Like I said, I plan on making these shorter because, A, I want to value your time. And I know not everybody can dedicate 15, 20 minutes to a video. And I appreciate those who do tune in, like Shelly and Chad and Julia and Sharon. Uh, big, uh, big props to you guys for getting up early, early for some, on this New Year's Day. But I do want to make them shorter because IGTV actually has a nine-minute limit. So I'm trying to have them fit within that window. I also want to tell you, if you think somebody can use this message, then share this with them. I would love to just spread it, not because I need likes or views or whatever, but I just want to, again, add value to people. I want to share it with them. And the best way that I can do that is have you spread this message to people. Because I think it's really important because kind of one of the things that disturbed me about a lot of the messages and a lot of the posts and status that I saw for this year was I'm hoping and I'm wishing for a better year and I'm really anxious to see what this year brings. And I've got to tell you, this is probably not going to be a very popular message but if you were hoping and wishing, that is not a strategy. That is a recipe for failure. If you are seeing what it brings, that's also a recipe for failure. Because what it's doing is it's giving up control, and you have that control. Nobody else has it. You have it. And that brings me to the topic that I really want to cover today, which is, hey, Ryan, how are you? Which is, what kind of mindset do you have? And I'm going to read because a lot of these are on here. And you can pull this off of Google. You could go Google images and um, fixed versus a growth mindset. Because one thing that I have learned, and again, I'm no expert. I'm not your guru. I'm not the guy with all the answers. But. I have learned that if I want to become better and I want to show up as the best version of myself, hey, Annette, Mary, thanks for tuning in. If I want to show up as the best version of myself in 2019, I have to be willing to grow. I have to be willing to improve, which means you have to realize that you don't have all the answers. So I'm going to get right to these so we don't run out of time. But number one, there's two schools of thought. A fixed mindset says, well, I'm either good at it or I'm not. It's just not a gift I've been given. A growth mindset says, I can learn anything I want to. And that's really empowering, guys. Because that takes the limits off of you. You know, I'm not good at working out. I'm not good at eating right. No, you can learn all of those things. Same way goes for public speaking or... Um, gosh, I'm trying to think of some other areas that, that you could cover with that, but you can learn anything you want to learn. I've seen it countless times. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Mike. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, 
fixed mindset says, if I fail, I'm no good. And I suffer from that for a long time. And the growth mindset says, I learn from my failures. Guys, we have way too much of a negative impression of failure in this world. Failing is learning. It's not the end. It doesn't make you a failure to fail. Just like you don't, you know, you aren't poor or you aren't broke, but you have brokenness or you have, you, you, you have a poverty or, you know, you're, you're not fat. You have fat, you know, you're not, um, you do, you, you're not unconfident. You just lack confidence, but you can, you can learn from those failures. So quit fearing failure. Every single person who has mastered something has done it by failing more than you have probably ever attempted. So learn from those. Um, most people don't want to challenge themselves either, which is really sad because if you just stay where you are, you're never going to progress. Um, um, a person that I, I really follow and value his teaching, he says that you cannot coast uphill. You've always got to be challenging yourself. Don't fear challenge. And again, that goes back to kind of like fear and fear of failure. Because it's not so much failing, it's fear of what people will think and what people will say when you fail. So challenge yourself. Feedback is constructive versus feedback becomes personal. I am guilty of that. Lots of times my wife will share something with me that I could be better at and I take it personally. So this is an area that I personally need to work on a lot. Uh, so don't, don't fear that feedback and don't take it so personally. Realize it's all part of the growing experience. Be inspired by the success of other people. Don't be jealous of it. You know, don't be one of those people that always has some excuse why they could succeed and you couldn't. Learn from their success because success leaves clues. I persevere when I'm, frust when I'm frustrated. That's the growth mindset. I give up on something when, when I'm frustrated. That's the fixed mindset. Hey, Aunt Linda. So it is all about learning the lesson. And realizing that failure is part of it. Nobody succeeds without going through like this major journey. So if you're trying something and you're facing hurdles, guess what? That is part of it. Don't get frustrated. Fall in love with the process and then the results will come. But you have to fall in love with the process. And the last one is my abilities determine everything that's going to happen to me as opposed to my effort and attitude determine that. Again, it's all about mindset, guys. Mindset is 80% of it. It's the 80-20 rule. 80% of your success and your happiness is mindset. So we are about to get to that nine minute mark. I hope you found some value of this, but take control, guys. Don't just put it in fate's hands for 2019 to be better, because if you do, you're going to be sitting here in 2020 and nothing will have changed. But if you take control of it and you realize that you can learn anything you need to, to learn and you can become anything you want to become and you can do anything you want to do and you realize that's your power, then you're going to have a great 2019. Happy New Year, guys.